Hi everyone, welcome back to Sarah Pavin Anime. I am Sarah Pavin. And I'm Adam. And today we are starting Demon Slayer. I have no <laughs> idea what I'm getting into here. We have received, I can't even tell you how many recommendations to watch Demon Slayer. So we like to keep the people happy. You know what I mean? Um, I, I think I have like a, a little hint of what this could be about. Do you? I have no idea. Like I read a lot of fantasy. So like when I read this, I'm thinking sword and shield, like medieval demon slang. That's, that's what comes to mind for me. I have no idea if that's accurate or not, but that's, that's where my brain goes. So the whispers I've heard no is, spoilers. No you don't want me to tell you? Is that, and I don't know if this is even right, or if I just heard whispers I wanted to hear, is that there is like a zombie apocalypse type thing and this guy's sister turns into a demon. Great. And it's just like, do you fight? You're fighting off the demons. Do you kill your sister or not? Okay. Maybe. Interesting. Maybe that's completely off base, but we will find out. So today we're watching season one, episode one of Demon Slayer called Cruelty. This is, this is my <laughs> first like non-volleyball anime. So Adam's the high Q king, by the way, check out the reactions here. Um, so let's see. Maybe we'll, maybe I'll apologize ahead of time, or maybe I'll say you're welcome ahead of time. I have no idea where this is gonna go, but we're gonna find out. So, let's get started. Let's see. Demon Slayer, episode one, right now. I'm not gonna lie, reason number one I brought Adam to watch this one with me is because scary things, I don't handle them well. We watched the show yesterday and you literally had your face hidden for half the episode. Exactly. So I needed reinforcement for this series. Um, because was this, sorry, was this on like the Halloween preview list that you did? No. Oh. Alright. Winter Demon. ダメよ。炭治郎みたいに早く歩けないでしょ。母ちゃん。ダメ。今日はニグルマを引いていけないから乗せてもらって休んだりできないの。
Tanjiro's hair, he's got some personality, okay? He's got those earrings, he's got the like... Light blue oh. scarf. The light blue scarf with a checkered jacket, with a reddish hue to his hair. This guy's got some sense. What do you think this thing on his forehead is? Um, it kind of looks like a patch of hair. Maybe a birthmark? I'm staring that thing down right yeah, now. Yeah, sure. I don't know, but all I know, he seems like he's from a very small town and I bet he's the fashionista. Do you think his dad is gone or dead? No, his dad was in the back. Oh, I like to see that. When the kids were coming around the corner, he was like, or coming to him, his dad was around the corner. Got it. Missed that. But look at that style. He's not coming back, folks. That's my prediction. Something bad is gonna happen. I got, the first 20 seconds threw me for a loop. <laughs> I thought that was the dad. <laughs> it's not. They're all wearing checkers. But look at that style. That, that must be a burn on his head. I don't know. Winter sandals? Oh my gosh, how many kids are in this family, okay? <laughs> First of all, I thought the one guy was the dad. Clearly wrong, okay? My bad. Good call by you. Maybe you're right. But, but this is the same, he's the same guy who we saw in the opening scene carrying his sister, right? And I think it's and, that and sister. That's, okay, all right. So he has to come back. I was oh, saying okay. something bad was gonna happen. Oh, okay, yeah. You have to bear with us here. It is episode one. We are laying the foundation. We're laying the groundwork. We're asking a lot of questions because we don't know anything about these people. So there's gonna be some pausing. I go back to my question. How many kids are in this family? We're at five right now and I'm assuming or hoping that that baby is the sister's baby. Oh, maybe I was gonna say- Another uh, one. Six. Six, including the baby. I'll say it again. Do we, do we have a time period? Do we know, like... Seems like it's a while ago. He's selling coal. Charcoal. Charcoal. Okay. That's good. Okay. <laughs> Keep the predictions coming! Six kids. Seems like it. Do you know? Do you know who he reminds me of? 
You. Yeah. <laughs> Adam is the Tanjiro of his family, let me tell you. Everybody yeah. saves every task to get accomplished when Adam shows up. Went home for Christmas, drywall to laundry room. Um, he smelled a cat. This man is a superstar. So do you think that he obviously they respect his sense of smell. Do you think he was <laughs> do you think he was recovering for that guy? Do you think he actually smelled cat? Or do you think he was doing his buddy a solid? <laughs> I'm just like dying that you said they obviously respect his sense of smell. Well clearly. What? No, Maybe. he fixed the sliding doors, he's selling people charcoal. Somebody wants him to help them carry luggage. He is a jack of all trades. He doesn't just have he's a, a hustler. Good, he doesn't just have a good sniffer. Um, I'm willing to beg special he's, power. he's volunteering, though. No. Yeah, but you're, he's, everybody will buy charcoal from him because he's, he's helping out. Building up that rapport. He's a town player. <laughs> Is he? I hope we find that out. Team, team player, town player. <laughs> that's, that's what I was going for, not like, player. <laughs> I get that. We're done. We're done. I don't like this. How did you know that? No. Is this a myth that's going to become reality? Oh boy. What's his family going to think if he just doesn't show up though? That he got caught by demons. This is grandpa. Somebody tell his mom. Does he call it a cell phone? Hopeless. だから鬼狩様が鬼を切ってくれるんだ。昔から。あかりけすぞ。もう寝ろ。サブロおじいさん。家族を亡くして一人暮らしだから寂しいんだろうな。今度弟たちを連れてくるから。怖がらなくても
Tiny chain shoes. Wow. Really? Just make you left in sandals. A sandal looking thing. I'm just shocked that your new sense of smell is so strong. Why do you only take her? No, stop. How did how would he live? He can't. Big snowdrift. Did he smash her? No. You fell in the snowdrift. If she's lurking in the tree, oh, 100%. oh, I can't. She looked vampirish. No, get out. Let's go. a lot. <laughs> that first episode got intense real quick. His sense of smell a bit may be off the charts, but his brain cells are a little slow. He's only just realizing, oh, right, I just remembered what Grandpa Saburo said. I mean, what would you be thinking about if your sibling was attacking and trying to bite your face off in the snow? Clearly, oh man, she's a demon. <laughs> But was he trying to figure out if she's always been a demon or if... Yes. I think that's what he was thinking, right? Yes, he's yeah. definitely trying to work through it in... Well, being attacked. Kind of a slow way. I'm not sure I've ever seen something just grow like that. That was creepy. When the situation wasn't in their favor, besides maybe the Hulk. Okay, that was terrifying. The fact that she just like grew in, like so fast. Like, what is up with that? I thought she was gonna like split her skin and become like a massive demon. Ew. But also, 
You have to assume the rest of the family is going to be demons too. Well, no, because they're dead. Well, wasn't... Yeah, she no, was still she warm, was still so warm. what does that have to do with anything? Well, maybe, maybe it's like a you werewolf. You only partially killed them. Yeah, maybe it's like a werewolf or a vampire bite. Where it... <sighs> like, if they're still alive, you can bite them, they turn. I'm stressed that's, out. That's what I think. So the demon didn't fully kill her. Mm -hmm. But I would think, you know, if I was a demon, I would want to increase the population. Unless increasing the population made it harder for you to get food and you just want to be so low. <laughs> Supply and demand, people. <laughs> demon breathing 101 from Sarah Patham. <laughs> going into the demon reproductive cycle here everybody um <laughs> okay i don't like that my this this is intense question if it was me if i was nezuko in demon form would you kill me oh i don't know would you have left me alive if this situation, if you were Tajiro and I was Nezuko, what would you do? <laughs> he wants to say, kill me. <laughs> but his, his marriage vows are keeping him on his toes. No, oh, you're not wrong. <laughs> okay, that's enough of an answer. You would kill me. Moving on. <laughs> Oh, Grandpa. Grandpa's no, it's a demon slayer. Or it's Grandpa. Decapitated. She's in there. Oh, it is a demon slayer. Dang it, I was hoping it was the Grandpa. Ooh. Oh wow. What kind of demon slayer are you? Just gave a guy a haircut. That's a very strong arm. Questions were answered. 
we were a little premature on the pause. You know what, I love a prediction though, okay? And if you've been with us for a while, you know we love a prediction, so they're gonna keep happening. I'm a little out of my depth with predicting demons, but. You were right. No, that's true. I have so many questions. What is up with this incredible sense of smell? That. Do uh, you wanna hear my uh, prediction? That is a very specific trait, okay? I, I bet you it's a trait shared by like legendary demon hunters. Oh, I probably. Yeah. But gosh, they've sure mentioned it a whole bunch. Um, he could smell like people's pheromones like a dog. Um, that demon slayer had very beautiful eyes, I will say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a sucker for baby blues. Um, yeah, I I kind of, I feel bad for Tajiro. I mean, obviously he's a little in denial right now, but I think that he needs to get rid of her. No. Okay, why? He, he saw that she's still in there. She hasn't fully turned yet. He's got a, He's got a chance. I bet you it's gonna be, here's my prediction. He's gonna have to hunt down the demon that killed her and maybe killing that demon will like reverse all of the people that that demon turned. I'm not sure I understand the mechanism by which one becomes a demon though. He was like, it mixed with demon blood, okay. So a wound though. So essentially I think what he was saying was So like, one of the family members injured the, de the demon something maybe? Something like yeah. Okay. That's what I. That's what I think. Okay. I'm curious. Oh, I'm curious what other powers a demon, like this particular demon slayer, has. Like the wind blew across. Was that him? Or was Lightning he just really quickness. Good with a sword. Well, he's, he's quick. No doubt. Lightning quickness. He's like, stay where you are. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Demon Slayer Softy.
No! Okay. little respect from the demon hunter. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't think he had it in him. The demon hunter? No. <laughs> Why, you thought he was a little emotional? No, he's just, he was a farm kid. With a great sense of smell. Yeah. I mean, I thought the, I thought the rock throwing was cute, but I did not expect him to hurl the hatchet on the snide and then act as a distraction. I mean, that was impressive. He's got the intangible skills. Mm -hmm. well, what do you think's gonna happen now? Do you think he's gonna kill him? No. I agree. I mean, I think that's silly not to kill her, to be honest. It's a big responsibility. <laughs> big city of demon. <laughs> and not getting killed by one at the same time. But maybe this guy will, he'll become his apprentice. Uh, I was kind of thinking the same thing. He doesn't look much older than him, though. Yeah, but maybe he comes from a long line of demon slayers. That's true. Maybe Tajiro's dad was a demon slayer and that's how he died, but nobody knows. Now I'm just getting wacky. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can, uh, one can hope. Ready, chap. Is that a special, special demon muzzle? It might be. Sagiriyama no Fumoto ni sunde iru. Uroko daki sakonji toyu rojin o tazne o. Tomioka Giyu ni yuarete kita to iye. Ima wa higasa shite inai kara daijoubu na yoda ga. Imoto o taiyo no moto ni tsuredasu na yo. Wow! So I'm getting a very vampirish vibe to these demons. Well, the sunlight burns vampires. Maybe it makes the demons extra wild. Maybe. Was that a demon muzzle? That was one swift karate chop to the neck. <laughs> I mean, the dude's quick. <laughs> wow, the precision required to execute that move. And he wasn't even worried. No, he was like, was like yawn, chilling. here she comes, and <laughs> Um, I apologize. I've been calling him Tanjiro. It's Tan Ten. Let me blah, blah, blah. let me try that again. Tan Tanjiro. 
that was very clearly a struggle. Um, so sorry for saying missing a letter in his name for a while. Um, I'm sorry, I'll have it wrong for the next six episodes. I don't remember it. Okay, any other comments? You thought that the sunlight is vampire-y. Yeah, I get, I get the feeling that, that these demons are similar to vampires. What we would call, I don't know if, if there's such things like a Western vampire, but like they seem to share the traits of what we would consider vampires. I wonder if he'll get her some clean clothes. <laughs> <laughs> the practicalities. That's all. It, what? What if that sedates her? Like her hands are free. All right, we made it through episode one. It kind of seems like up my alley. Like I was kind of hoping for like a sword fighting demon, check. It's got a little bit of a fantasy vibe to it. I don't know if that's like, you're not supposed to say that when you're watching anime, but that's kind of the feel that I get. I think he's gonna get sent on an epic quest in order to find some specific things to cure his sister. Mm -hmm. I'm interested. I'm intrigued. Well, he said that demons may know the solution yeah. to bring her back to humans, so maybe he'll have to befriend or tame other demons to get the answers. But first stop, the base of this mountain, to see the, the guy that Giyu sent him to, sent him to talk to. Um, what do you think about the haircut? Which one? If you've watched anime with me before, you will know that hair is a big obsession for me in this genre. What did you think of Tanjiro's haircut? It's got a good flow going. Do you think it looks better now or when he had the the pony? I think it looks good now. Oh. I mean, he's got a little less swagger now, if you ask me. That ponytail was just a vibe. I um, mean, getting karate chopped in the back of your spine at the base of a sword will do that to you, I'd say. But I was gonna say, it's a great story. <laughs> um, I liked this. I, I'm a little surprised actually. I was nervous. I was nervous. I thought I would be very scared. That's not to say it won't happen. Um, I'm glad that I brought Adam with me to watch it. Uh, I'm excited. He's very excited. This is intriguing. I definitely wanna keep watching um i asked a couple questions adam seemed to have all the answers and he was right for the most part <laughs> well that's what i'm curious to see if there's an overlap between like the fantasy that i've read and like the story here so we we were pretty um, we <laughs> adam was pretty spot on with his predictions this episode um, but yes, I definitely did ask a couple things. So hit me up with your answers. No spoilers, please. We do not want to read spoilers. Um, do you have anything to add before we say bye? No, I don't think so. I just wonder what happens next. Perfect. Um, so yeah, we'd be so happy if you would like this video, subscribe to my channel and stay tuned because episode two of Demon Slayer is coming next week. Thanks.